Hello, DFW guitarists, and uh, I guess YouTube people as well. Going on around in here. Um, now, uh, for the DFW guitarist group, I've decided to do a series of build projects. But, you know, it's been a little while since I have soldered and everything like that. And I decided to kind of warm up with one. It's a good thing I did and didn't really film the whole thing because it was, I just had some problems, but I, I think I have everything ironed out now. So let me show you what I have here. It is a RG something or other. This is the one with the, the reverse headstock on it. And it's been heavily modified by its previous owner. Uh, the neck is even dipped here. So a lot of people hate playing this guitar. I've kind of gotten used to it. I call her Cherry. So in the bridge position here, uh, I, I took her uh, INF pickups out, and I'm going to use those in the Geo project that we'll be doing. Sorry, something on my screen there driving me nuts. And uh, I decided to move this to a one pickup guitar, but it has some special kind of features because it's not as plain Jane as it looks. So. Let me just show you this. This is the, uh, I hope this turns out okay. This is the uh, Ladyland preset on the uh, Zoom G5. So let me just... So that's that's a Seymour Duncan Screaming Demon. That's, I, I understand it's clean. That's just volume and tone all the way up. Now these are uh, 500k alpha pots, so let me turn the tone all the way down with an O22 tone cap. Turned it up just a tad. Right there, tone's about halfway. So, really kind of a good bit of output, even though the Seymour Duncan Screaming Demon is like a, a little, it's a little hotter PAF, right? This guitar, though, has switching options. So these are actually push pulls. So if I push this, if I pull this one up, I get the pickup in parallel. So let me let you hear it in... in I know sometimes this can be hard to hear. It's interesting because people who don't play guitar, you can play them the the Siri sound, the parallel sound, or any version of the other, and they're like, I can't hear a difference. So anyway, here's the... That's full humbucker. Let me pull the switch. Parallel. It's very... That's humbucker, right? And then parallel. And let me turn the tone about halfway down to mimic more the 250K range you'd hear from a Strat. I mean, if I close my eyes, That, to me, sounds like a Strat, or if you turn the tone all the way up. A really hot Strat. Okay, so that... Let me turn the volume down here. That is series parallel, right? This is your tone, and if I pull it up, I get single coil. So, let me show you humbucker again. Humbucker. Single coil. There was a noticeable volume drop and... In... 
Now, I, I it seems like so that's that's with the humbucker in series and split. Now, technically, it shouldn't make a difference, but if I pull this up. So that both are up? I don't know. I can kind of hear a little something. Maybe not. Because it shouldn't matter. But, you know, that is a very... convincing single coil sound. Let me turn the tone a bit down about halfway. Especially that. Especially that. So, if, like, you left this guitar in parallel, and then just use the coil tap, or coil split, switch, you get a lot of, like, those Hendrixy kind of tones. I mean, it's, it's, I, I don't really see a reason to give you guys any of the tone examples, high gain, really. Let me know if you want to, want me to do a high gain demo, but I find this to be a lot better, um, uh, demonstration of, of this guitar's ability. So, I have a guitar with, uh, you know, very little magnetic resistance under the strings. One pickup, volume tone. So even even just rolling the tone back, I have a lot of, you know. So, you know, that, that these are these are like said both alpha pots. I used to really be or, or, or uh, 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 alpha taper pots. I used to be really into linear pots, but the the original pots in this Ibanez were such like like almost like off and on switches. Like they they were really like heavy the first 10% of their rotation and then the last 90% of their rotation. It was like they didn't do anything. And I like to have a little more versatility, but I can get a really dark sound now. And with the single coil option. To me, I mean, that almost... has a neck single coil quality to it and then yeah. sorry if I roll the tone all the way up uh, I, I get a more bridge kind of sound and if I roll it like halfway down you know it, it's like a middle so I can almost do, and then, you know, kind of the same with the, the parallel sounds. I really think that that is a very convincing kind of strat in, like, position two sound. I roll the tone down a little. It gets even more convincing. Versus the humbucker sound, which is just, it's, it's very noticeable, you know, 
and, and like I said, uh, that it's a it's a great mod if you have just one pickup sitting around, a guitar sitting around, and some push pull pots that a lot of people have sitting around these days. These are all Chinese components uh, that I, except for the pickup and the guitar. I mean the 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 pots are all just Chinese stuff I ordered on YouTube. Had to wait forever for it, but. You know, it eventually came, and um, you know, I have, I have a really, you know, capable uh, instrument here, and like I said, this thing really does shred too. I mean, you can be George Lynch to Hendrix on this thing. It's and and it's it's really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Going on running out.